Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to record vocals in GarageBand. Once you have loaded GarageBand, you'll get a number of different options to go for a voice, which would probably make sense. Lots of Apple presets there, but they do have presets that slightly alter your voice. You want to record your voice as is. I suggest Empty Project. Click Choose for that. And then once you're loaded, you want to add a new track here and you want to add audio. Click the microphone. OK, uh, now, of course, when you are selecting that, let me show you again. You have here the option to choose the input on your audio interface. OK, I've got eight different inputs. I can combine inputs if it's a stereo microphone or something like that. I can even change what I'm using to get audio in and out by clicking the arrow next to these and I can choose output and input. For me, it's the Sapphire audio interface that I have. And input one is great. So that'll work. Got a little bit of level here. Hello, hello, hello. Looks good. It's tickling the yellow, but it's not in the red. So now just click record. It's going to give me a count in. I don't quite want the count in because I'm not doing music. So that's very easy. I can just go to record menu, count in, none, and then start again. And now I'm recording instantly into GarageBand. These are my vocals, and I'm very happy that this works. Click stop and let's just play back some of that audio now. These are my vocals and I'm very happy that this works. Very easy way to record vocals into GarageBand. I hope this tutorial has been handy for you. Remember to leave a comment and if you'd like more videos like this, subscribe to my channel.